Hi everybody, Miss Judy here. Nice to see all of, all of your happy faces and I'm glad to be here to do a craft today. Hopefully you're all doing some things at home to use your creativity and your imagination. Um, today we're going to do something pretty simple but it's useful and you can really make it your own depending on what image you choose. So I've got a bookmark here and it says be awesome. I want you to be awesome. You only need a few materials for this, okay? So you're going to need some white paper for the background, and then you can use a colored paper for the border. And then I just looked through a magazine and I saw a picture of this lady. She looks happy and she looks like she's having fun and she looks like she's awesome, so I used hers. We're gonna do another one, um, and this might be better for you guys out there. Here's one, I like this picture because it's of a summer sunset and it's got, looks like a man or a guy on his paddle board in the lake with his dog. I thought that was really awesome. So simply, how we're gonna get started is cut our paper. So I've got my card stack. You can use regular paper too, it doesn't matter. I cut this seven and a half by three inches. A good way if you're going to be cutting paper, maybe we can get the camera down here so you can see a little bit better. All right, so what I like to do, so I want to go three inches wide. I'm just going to take my pencil, do a little hash mark here, one down here, and then I want to go seven inches down. I'll make a mark there and one over here on the edge of the paper and then I can just draw my lines like so and cut that out and I'm going to be pretty close to the measurement that I need. So we've got one piece seven and a half by three we're going to start with. We have another piece. It's my color paper and we're going to cut that six and a half by two and a half so that'll fit right in here and then I've got my image I found this in a magazine you can look in newspapers you can look in magazines you can look online if you have a printer um, even if you have a photograph of yourself too that would work out well to crop that and use it and so that's going to fit right in the center the other thing you'll need is a glue stick and you can pick those up at the dollar store if you don't have one. They're pretty inexpensive. We also have some here at the library, which we would be happy to give you if you're in need. So I will just put a couple of stripes down there. And I'm going to lay that as evenly as I can onto my card stack. You can move this around just a little bit before it dries. I didn't get that on there quite right. Let's try this again. There we go. That's better. So there's my first layer and then I'll take my image that I chose and do the same thing. Glue that down. Now this part gets a little bit tricky. I've got these letters that I cut out from a newspaper. They're kind of small. So I'm just going to sort of pick it up with my finger, put a little glue on it. They're a little bit hard to handle. And we won't put all these on because you'll get the general idea. But just place your letters. on your image however you want to until you finish your word. The last step is to put the little tassel on here and I just used some curling ribbon. You could use yarn, you could use string or twine, anything that you happen to have handy. I punched a little hole. I've got three pieces of ribbon so I'm going to
try and capture these ends here. And then I'm going to find out approximately, this is not easy with this curling ribbon, where the middle part is. That's going to be about right here. And I'm going to bunch that together and thread it through. And then I'll, <laughs> excuse me, I'll bring these over the top and put those through the loop. Pull it tight and there we go. If you want to, you can leave them like that or you can take a pair of scissors and being careful not to cut yourself, curl your ribbons. And there you have it, your own personalized bookmark. Cool, huh? Thanks for joining me today. I hope you uh, do some crafting at home, keep your imagination going. And I just want to remind you that we do have a, um, a YouTube channel now. So make sure you keep your eye on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. We've got lots of really fun things going on. Also, uh, summer reading is coming up starting next week. Our program this year is going to be Summer Reading Unplugged. We made it easy because we've all had a lot of challenges and um, different times that we've been going through. So we just want you to keep reading, basically. If you read a book, you come in, you get a prize. We've got some really nice stuff back there to um, hand out to you, and we hope to see your smiling faces at our door. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.